Welcome back, folks. Jason Hoppy here to show you how we can create a spherized version of an image, kind of like that metal ball, kind of reflecting what's going on in the room or just kind of putting the room around this metal ball like somebody holding the room in their hand. And you've probably seen this before, and here's how you do it. I'm going to create a new layer in my Layers panel. And I'm going to start off with a circular selection. So I'm going to use my circular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool here. And I'm going to fill this with black. I'm just making sure black is in my color picker. And then use Option or Alt Delete. And I'm just going to use this as a reference here. I'm going to go to my background layer and duplicate using Command or Control J. And then I'm going to put that background layer on top. With that background layer, I'm going to go into the filter menu, distort, and choose spherize. And I want to set the amount to 100%, and I click OK. And that's going to take the whole thing and spherize this whole image. Going back to my move tool, I'm going to use my command or control T, and I'm going to scale this down. What I want to do is I want to scale it down so it snaps to my black circle that I created behind there, okay, just allowing this to snap to it, right there, beautiful. I'm going to command click on my original layer that I had created with that sphere to get that selection back, and then click on my layer that I just spherized and apply a layer mask to this. At this point, I no longer need this black layer. So this is my sphere. On top of this, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to Option or Alt click and clip this to here. And this is going to be my shadow layer here. And my shadow layer is going to contain the shadow that I'm going to put in the lower left, or actually the lower right here because the sun, or the sunlight or the lights are the weird alien lights coming in. So I'm going to grab my black, I'm going to grab my brush, and on a soft brush, I'm going to come in here and paint kind of around the edge right here. And I can blur this any way that I want to. If I haven't gotten a soft enough brush here, I can go in and I can blur that shadow right there. And of course, this is clipped to this background, so it only stays within that sphere. I'm going to set my shadow to multiply and knock the opacity down a little bit so that it doesn't get too dark. Create a new layer up above that again, and this is going to be my highlight. I'm going to Option or Alt click that to it grab my brush and set white as my foreground color. I'm going to come in here and kind of paint white in here. And I can also go under the filter menu, under blur, Gaussian blur, and blur that out a lot to get a really soft look. I'm going to set this to screen, and then I'm going to cut back the opacity here to get that looking like we've got a little bit more showing through. Now, sometimes the white looks a little bit fake here, so I'm going to go actually to Overlay and see what that does. Oh yeah, Overlay is going to make that kind of nice and shiny in there. And so in this case, I'm going to switch the highlight, which I normally put to screen, to Overlay right here. So now I've got kind of my shiny sphere as well. A few little specular highlights um, usually um, clean this up a little bit, but I want to do one more thing to this, and I'm going to select my image. I'm going to go back to my, or down to my layer effects here, and I'm going to do an inner glow around my object. And the inner glow is going to come around, and I'm going to set this to be black, and I'm going to set this to multiply, and I'm going to set my contour here to not be my flat, which is the typical one. I'm going to round this, and then I'm going to set the opacity so you can see what that looks like. It's kind of bringing that whole thing in. Now if I want to kind of lighten this up, I can click on my little color swatch here and I can add like a lighter one here. And in this case, I would use probably screen. And I could set that to kind of create that spherize effect right there, which is super awesome. Now you can see I don't need much. So I don't want to use a lot of opacity on this to kind of create that spherize effect. But I do want it to be at the maximum size to get that roundedness. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this now to overlay. And you can see what overlay does. It kind of gives you that really nice kind of rounded metallic effect right there. So that was that inner glow that I put on there, which really makes this thing 
a shiny metal object. Now, any type of you know object here, you can go ahead and put in some highlights in, and any type of highlights. If you just want to come in here, I'm going to create a new layer again, Option or Alt click. I'm going to grab my brush. You can reduce the size down, but you can also make a few highlights in here that are going to be perfect circles if you want to add some highlights here. And of course, knock the opacity way down on those if you want to add kind of a bokeh effect where you get, you know, different size lights kind of refracting over each other and then blend that out and make that a little bit softer if you want to, to kind of create, you know, a little um, kind of like that uh, lens flare effect as it kind of picks up on the um, sphere right here. And then of course you can take that and you can also blur those ever so slightly using the Gaussian blur on here to add those as well. So create a nice little kind of like lens flare effect coming in here. If you want to make this look more like a sphere as well, <clears throat> you can always go in again, create another layer. And with your brush, you could come in here and actually paint across here with certain lines. And this I would definitely blur out using the Gaussian blur and knock that down a bit. Actually blur that way up, do something like that, and then go in and set the different color modes in here and then set the opacity. And doing something like this and curving it to the sphere really makes it look like it is metallic on top of all that content. So this is how you can go in and create that really cool spherized look. It's really simple. And there you have it. Cool sphere with a few little lens flare effects right there and any type of highlights or shadows that you want to add in on the separate layers. Always do these on separate layers so you can do try different blending modes, different highlights, different shadows, and adjust each one of your layers separately.